Hello everyone, as I promised in my life, here is the new video for today from Sunday. What is it today? 30th of October. Before I start with some news from Poland, please join me on Locals, join my mailing list, all the links to my books, website, Instagram. I appreciate if you follow me there. Um, PayPal, Patreon, Rumble, you find down below this video and in the pinned comment section. Let's start with something that Maciej Maciak was actually talking about um, this morning. I listened to his video. So I look into it. And the news is coming from Polish Prime Minister Mateusz Morawiecki. And I will be reading to you an article from Wiadomości.pl, which is news.pl. So let's start with this. The first nuclear power plant in Poland. There is a decision on the contractor. We confirm the implementation of the nuclear project in the proven, proven and safe, safe WEC nuclear technology. WEC, WEC technology, said Prime Minister Mateusz Morawiecki. This means that the Americans are to build the first nuclear power plant in Poland. Government spokesman Piotr Miller said that we are also talking about possible projects with our other partner countries. And the tweet from Morawiecki said this right after this announcement. A strong Polish alliance with the United States guarantees the success of joint initiatives. After a recent fruitful talks with US Vice President Kamala Harris and Secretary of Energy Jennifer Granholm, we confirm the implementation of the nuclear project in the proven and safe WEC nuclear technology. Prime Minister Mateusz Morawiecki said on Twitter on Friday evening, so just two days ago. And then I heard Maciej Maciak said the same company, Westinghouse, which I believe that WEC technology nuclear plant is going to be created by Westinghouse. And apparently, the Westinghouse Electric Company, and this is an article from the New York Times that I found from 2017, which helped drive the development of nuclear energy and the electric, electric grid itself, filed for bankruptcy protection, protection on Wednesday, casting a shadow over the global, global nuclear industry. The filing comes as the company's corporate partner, Toshiba of Japan, scrambles to stanch huge losses stemming from Westinghouse troubled nuclear construction projects in the American South. Now the future of this, those projects, which one seemed to be on the leading edge of a renaissance for nuclear energy is in doubt. So this is in relationship to Fukushima, everyone. You can look it up and yes, our Prime Minister Morawiecki just announced the first nuclear power plant in Poland. Let me see if there is any time frame here. If I can find this, I think I don't want to give you the wrong date. Okay. I think it's by 2033. Yeah, 33. Hmm. Okay, so here it says, uh, is this well? I will try to find more accurate date for you, but I don't see it here. I think it's is this date, or I'm not sure if they are starting the project next year. Yeah, next year. I think next year they're supposed to start. That's the whole visit. I don't know if you remember, they went there, not Morawiecki, but uh, Moskva, you know, the Minister of Climate I mentioned before. She was flying to Washington to have discussion, I mean, discussion with Kamala, just the sentence alone itself makes no sense okay not funny but yeah i'm just saying okay so this is very recent sometimes when i post those videos people there are some people who say like 
you're just saying this and you don't comment on it. Do I really have to comment on everything? I think we all have here enough common sense and understanding of the situation that I don't have to explain every single thing how I feel about or what is my, my opinion. Next subject, and let's stay still with Morawiecki here because this is about the energy prices, everyone. So buckle up because Mar Morawiecki talks about a slight increase in the price of energy. Now we have 5% tax, VAT we call it, but there will be 23% VAT from I believe next year. So what is he talking about? There will be slight increase in the price of energy. There also will be a limit, which is 200 kilowatts, I think you say in English. I think it's, I think, is this per, per day or per month? I'm not sure. But interesting because Maciej Maciek said that that limit you can use just by having your computer turn on throughout the day just by that computer being plugged alone. So the new rate in reality will be 98% more than it is already. And at this price is right now, the Polish businesses are already closing. And on the note of closing Polish businesses, another news is that after three quarters of 2022, there is 129 more insolvencies in Poland. And at this point, Poland is the largest, has the largest number of the insolvencies in the world. So in Poland, there is the highest number of businesses closing. Yep, not just England and other countries. This is the Poland situation right now. And another interesting thing I came across it's with uh, connection to European Union. So it, it is this, a year has passed since Poland was fined for failure to comply with TSUE ruling. The penalties for the disciplinary chamber are still charged and their amount amounts to 358 million euros, which is almost 1.7 billion zloty. What is this? So a fine of a 1 million euro per day was imposed by the TSUE on October 27th, 2021. And the reason was that it ignored, Poland ignored the court's ruling. The case concerned the functioning of the justice system in Poland and the EU tri tribunal previously ordered Poland to close the disciplinary chamber by August 16, 2021 at the latest. And it hasn't happened. So the counter started on November 4th, 2021. And since then, the counter has been taking and increasing by one, million euros per day. This is the situation, everyone. So looking at this, well, first of all, we have more involvement of American businesses here. Well, we have the nuclear plant being built in Poland. We have Polish business in collapsing, like there is no tomorrow, no, there is no tomorrow for them. And the highest number allegedly in the world right now, that's what it says. Meanwhile, it seems like, well, I think they are all the same club, you know what I think, but it seems like um, Polish government is doing everything for European Union to kick out Poland out of European Union, but there is something behind it. I'm trying to figure out what this really is because it looks like, I mean, who's gonna pay this? Who's gonna pay this 358 million euros for some fines that uh, EU has ruled over Poland? 
I'm telling you guys, this is an absolute mess in every aspect of it. And that's all I have for you today. You know, um, everyone very happy, including the Polish ambassador, including American ambassador in Poland, congratulating Morawiecki on this incredible, successful, fruitful, fruitful project, fruitful talks, fruitful project with the nuclear plant. Um, absolutely, they are using this part of Europe. I have no doubt about it. It's not just Sweden, it's not just Finland. It's not just the Balkans. Poland is very important in extending this absolute madness and disaster in Ukraine. So leave the comments down below your thoughts about it, if this makes any sense to you. And let's see, let's see how long this government will be able to pass any more laws, we see. Thank you guys for watching, lots of love everyone. Today is Sunday and I had this live this morning, so I'm a little bit all over emotionally, but all is well. Stay tuned for more videos coming and leave the comments down below. What are your opinions? Make sure, bye guys.